Hey guys, John Crisp here with AstroProductReviews.com. Just got back from a trip down to Hocking Hills, Ohio, which is southeast of Columbus, and visited the John Glenn Astronomy Park, which was really cool. Recommend you go there. It's got electricity, it's got bathrooms, they have an observatory with a roll-off roof. They uh, take reservations, so if you get a chance to go down there, I highly recommend it. I was down there in the Logan area. I met up with Scott Roberts from Explore Scientific, he was down there for the Airstream trailer event that they have in downtown Logan. Got a chance to meet him and his awesome people. Really enjoyed being able to do that. And while we were down there, we drove the 12 miles out to the astronomy park. I took my drone and got a few aerial shots and a couple of pictures, so I wanted to share that with you. It's a quick tour, just wanted to give you an idea how big the place is and what it looks like and the design and some of the things they put into it. Highly recommend if you get a chance to go. There's going to be details in the video. I'll put links to their website and place where you can do the reservation and more information. So thanks for watching. I'll do a little fly through here as you can see the main plaza through the main entrance. The plaza is represented by the sun, the size of the sun in relation to Jupiter there in the center and Earth. And under Jupiter there are power outlets and you could probably fit about 60 or 70 people on the plaza which has that representation of Stonehenge. It was a really bad weather day, it was cloudy and raining, so the video is not the best quality, but you can see the observatory with telescopes and a roll-off roof in the bottom left. And then here are a series of still pictures as you look around the plaza. And again, here's the main observatory with the roll-off roof. They have programs that run through the fair weather months, weather permitting. They will cancel if the weather's bad. And there is parking. You can fit 70 vehicles in the parking area. Of course, you could bring a van with a bunch of people. Uh, but they limit it to 70 vehicles and you do have to register and that's on the website. But this site is designed to preserve the clear dark skies which is nice and they did a really nice job of it. it it's not that big but certainly able to host quite a few people and then there's grass out on the back stretch here that you can see off in the distance. And if you get a chance to get to Hocking Hills, Ohio you should go check it out. It was very impressive. Plan on traveling down there with my travel scope sometime soon. Thanks for watching.